Matty Ice here, and today I am doing another As Seen on TV product review. This is going to be for egglets. You might have seen these. They're the little silicone cups that allow you to cook hard-boiled eggs without the shell. And supposedly all you have to do is drop them in the little silicone cup and cook them. And then you can make soft boiled, medium, hard. You can even make like scrambled eggs in here, like omelet style. And then after you're done cooking them, you just pop them out that easy. No need to, you know, worry about cracking eggs and getting eggshells off. It's supposed to take it all, you know, for you. And this is what they look like. Little tiny silicone cups right here. And pretty simple. All they really do is, you know, unscrew from this top right here. There's your little silicone cup. This all comes apart for easy cleaning, and they claim that you only need three spritzes of oil in here, and then you just coat the inside, or you can use olive oil, and it's that simple. It's supposed to be low mess, and they're supposed to help make these hard-boiled eggs easy. So I've got a pot of water on the stove right now that is getting ready to boil. We're going to get ready and see how well the egglets do. You can see water is boiling right here. It's just about there. It's got a little bit longer till it gets to full boil. We've got a couple of these egglets lined out. They give you four in a little carton if you just buy the standard pack. And they really don't give you much instruction wise. They tell you to wash them, which I did beforehand. And then you can put the sprays in it, obviously. What we're going to be doing today is testing. This first one is going to be olive oil with a standard, you know, regular, grade A large egg in there, just cracked right into it, nothing special. The next one is going to be a standard egg again with the canola spray oil in there instead of olive oil. This one is going to be an egg beater. I was curious to see what an egg beater would do, you know, and opposed to a large egg. And then this last one, we're going to try and microwave one of these. This might turn out horrible, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to start with the olive oil. We're just going to grab a little bit of this is just standard extra virgin olive oil we're gonna put a little dash in there that's a lot of oil i probably shouldn't have put that much all right i'm gonna swirl this all around inside of it oh yeah that's that's coated me and that is all over the whole inside okay that's a lot of oil if that sticks i'm gonna be impressed next spray they claim you only need like two or three quick shots of spray in here so i'm gonna do one two three that doesn't seem like very good coating. We'll rub that around in there as well. Nice even coverage in there. It's fully coated. Let's get that away. And then the one for egg beaters, nothing. And then the microwave one. I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, cooking spray in here. There we go. A little cooking spray in the microwave one. We'll swirl that around as well. Okay, now it's time for the egglets to get their eggs. So we'll start with our great A's, and we're just, like I said, we're just breaking these open. And we're going to crack them right inside, because that's what they show on the infomercial. There's one. Oh, look, that fills up pretty nicely. That's pretty much filled the entire compartment up until, like, the ring with an egg. That actually worked out pretty well. Okay, next one. We got that spray, and we're going to toss an egg straight in there. There's another one, filled up the same way. They both look pretty similar right now. Then we got our egg beaters. You do have to shake these up a little bit. And this one, it's the standard one. It's not like whites only, so this is going to be the mix. Alright, we got our little egg beaters in there. They're all shook up. We're going to pour these out until they meet the same level as the other ones. It's a nice yellow consistency. This would be kind of like if you beat an egg and put it in there. And then we got our microwave one, which we'll do in a... Alright. Ooh, we got a little bit of shell in there. It's okay. We're more or less interested to see how these are going to work. Okay, so water's boiling, and all you do, per their instructions, and I do have these labeled so we can keep track of them. OO stands for olive oil. All right, screw on the top. And then supposedly, you just put enough water in there so they float. I checked. These should have enough clearance. You don't want the silicone to touch the bottom of the pot. And then they'll start floating in there. Oh, look at that. That floats so nice. They do move around, though, so I was kind of worried to see, you know, what was going to happen. All right. Here's the one for the spray oil. I did label that spray oil. S-O. Drop her in there. And then the last one we're putting in this pot is going to be the egg beaters. 
and I put beet on there so I know which one that is. Okay, in they go, and we're going to set a timer. Let's see, a timer, and supposedly 15 minutes is what it takes to make one of these. Okay, we're going to take this microwave one over, in the meantime try and microwave it to see what will happen. I, I can only imagine it's probably going to melt or something horrible. Alright guys, we're over here at the microwave and we have this microwave one that's marked M. Now just to be clear, Egglets does not recommend microwaving these. I'm just doing this for my own curiosity to see what'll happen if you microwave an egglet. I don't know if they'll handle it well because this is a soft squishy silicone in a plastic top. But I'm going to put it in a bowl so I don't destroy the microwave. And then we're going to microwave it. I don't know, how long do you microwave a hard boiled egg? I, I can't tell you. It is vented so it shouldn't explode. But I'm just going to guess and say, you know, five minutes. Maybe that's too much. You know, let's start at three minutes and let's see how it looks. So we'll put three minutes on the clock and let her go. Okay guys, I had to turn this back on. Um, it's, uh, it's already making some strange noises and we're barely 45 seconds in. Oh God! Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, so can you microwave egglets? The answer is no. Um, that just exploded, and this microwave is now a mess. Let's, uh, oh god, let's see the damage. Oh, good lord, look at that. It's all over the fucking microwave. Oh, Jesus Christ. This was such a bad idea. Why did I do this? Okay, so we can zoom you guys in a little bit on the destruction. Hey, look at that. It's actually cooked. It did cook the egg and it popped, kind of like the commercial said. And look, the egglet's not destroyed. It's just exploded. It's not, you know, burnt. It's not melted. It came flying off. So it's not a total disaster. I guess if you want to microwave an egglet egg, that's actually cooked. Okay, this is gross, but I'm going to I'm going to try a little piece of it. Ow, ow, it's hot. Okay, there we go. We got the egglet egg. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how it tastes. It's not bad. It tastes like an egg. It's just... My microwave is destroyed now. Good lord. Still don't recommend microwaving egglets. They were right. Don't do it. That was stupid. It's going to explode and it's going to ruin your microwave and make a mess. Oh god, it's even got on the top of the microwave. Jesus Christ. Alright guys, we're going to wait for the egglets to uh, finish their job they still got 11 minutes to go so we'll uh, come back when they're closer to done all right guys as you can see we got about 25 seconds left until the egglets are ready to go now they do recommend kind of like when you're doing hard-boiled eggs if you do them correctly you let them boil for the amount of time you're supposed to and then you put them into an ice bath so we're gonna put them into an ice bath for three minutes after they come out and it's just about ready to pop right now so i got my hot hand ready i'm gonna start pulling them out no particular order i'm just gonna pick what's there first and we're gonna go straight into the ice bath hot hands very helpful all right there's one you can see it's kind of white looks like it cooked Ooh, shoot it flipped over okay here is number two Woo, man there you go i'm glad i got these hot hands man all right, and number three. There's number three. All right, I'll put my hands in the hot bath too. All right, so we're gonna let these sit for three minutes and then we'll bring you back and we'll see what we get. It's been three minutes in the ice bath. As you can see, we still got some ice in there. It is cold, um, but the egglets have had a chance to cool off and we're gonna reveal their contents. And I was kind of pleased to see the marker didn't come off when I was boiling them. Like, oh, there we go. Olive oil. That was the first one um, we actually put in the pots. We're going to open that one first. Now, according to the egglets, you're supposed to just be able to you know, pull off this little top right here. And then they're supposed to pop right out. Ooh, man, look at all that oil. I put way too much olive oil in there. But they're supposed to just pop right out without much force at all. And then as we pop them, we're going to cut them open and see what they look like. Pop. Hey, that made the popping sound. How cool. There's not, I mean, there's nothing really stuck in there. There's a little, you know, like stuff right there, but that did pretty cool. Man, that was actually neat. I'm, I'm really impressed. It does kind of look like a hard boiled egg. It's got some weird spots on it though. Like, I think that's just the oil that got trapped in there. Let's cut her open and see what it looks like. This should be hard boiled. I do not like soft or medium boiled eggs that much. 
Oh, that is clearly medium boiled. That's not, that's not a hard boil in there. Okay, so that one, yeah, it, it, I mean, it looks like a hard boiled egg, but it's not fully cooked like I would like. 15 minutes, that should be completely solid like these outside, but as you can see, it's, it's a little bit gooey there in the middle. Now let's try the spray only. This is just the canola spray, nothing else. Pull out, oh, yeah, we're supposed to pop off the top. I forgot about that. Oh man, this one's got a little water and oil on the top. It must have got in there a little bit. Oh man, I can already tell this one does not look like it cooked all the way through. Man, that's disappointing. All right, let's turn her upside down and wait for the, oh, she slid right out. Okay, so they're all coming out easy, and then as you can see, there, there's nothing in there. That, that looks as clean as when I put it in. There's just some oil residue. Oh, and I can tell this one's gonna be like, not boiled at all, oh man. Cutting her open. I know it's about the same consistency as the last one. We've got medium boiled here. This this yolk in the middle is still gooey. The it, whites are cooked, that's a little disappointing. So let's keep this one separate. And then last but not least, we've got egg beaters. So we'll pop the top off that one. There we go. Ooh, that one came out a little bit runny too. Looks like egg beaters when you cook it. Squishy. Let's see if she pops out. Oh man, I don't think this one's gonna be successful. The egg beaters are, oh God. They're all mush in there and they're, man, I'm turning this thing inside out. They are stuck to the inside of this thing. I mean, they do come off with a little pressure. They say if you have sticking, you're supposed to use a spoon, but that that's a mess. I would not recommend using egg beaters in here. It does feel like it's slightly cooked. It's really mushy though. Okay, let's let's try the eggs. So first we'll try the olive oil one. Oh man, it tastes like olive oil. You can definitely taste that oil on there. Now let's try the one with the cooking spray. I'm just gonna pop the yolk out because I'm not gonna like that already. There we go. As you can see, some of this white on the bottom is really underdone. Okay, that one tastes better. The yeah, olive oil tastes like olive oil. And then uh, last but not least, let's try some egg beaters. It tastes like really underdone egg beaters. Yeah, man, the directions were way far off. It might have been my stove. I, I don't know what was going on here, but it claimed 15 minutes was more than enough time for a hard boil. And they say if you want medium, you go 12 minutes. If you want soft boil, you go like 10 to 11 minutes. Uh, I'm, I'm not super impressed with the doneness of these eggs and like this one, that cooking spray, that's still fairly undercooked white. I'm always, you know, worried about salmonella. Oh, I'd ask Squirt to try these, but I know she doesn't like eggs. Oh, and as you guys hear over there, that's my own little egglet, Audrey. I know I haven't put Audrey in a video for a while, but in case you guys are wondering how she's doing, she's now four months old. Yeah. Say hello, egglet. Say hi, Audrey. Say hi. Isn't she so cute? <laughs> Anyways, guys, so do egglets work? Yes, they work in theory. As we saw with the olive oil and the cooking spray one, they actually came out very easy. They did not stick. And they made a hard boiled egg, just not in the time that they said. And then egg beaters were a total nightmare. These, uh, this is gonna be a mess to clean. I do not recommend egg beaters. And then as we saw with my mishap, do not microwave these, that was stupid. I should not have done that. That that created such a mess. I'm gonna have to spend forever cleaning up the microwave now. All right, guys. So Matty Ice says egglets uh, on a scale of one to ten. I'd probably give these a four or five. They're they're just not a great product in my opinion. I don't think they make making hard boiled eggs that much easier than just throwing them in a pot, cooking them for a while, and then putting them in an ice water bath and cracking them. Supposedly, you can cook these in advance and then put them in the fridge like you would with a hard boiled egg and then eat them when you want to and they kind of have a nice little carrying package but I just don't see this product being that great. All right guys, uh, that's it for this one. We'll see you next time for more Matty Ice as seen on TV reviews. Have a good night.